What's going on people? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Now the transfer wi the transfer window still isn't open but it looks like we're going to do all of our business before the thing is even open. Werner is, no is near enough confirmed. Ziyech has already packed his bags and is coming down to Stamford Bridge and we look like we're about to sabotage another rival's bid. This time Manchester United as we prepare a bid for maybe not the player in the Bundesliga we're expecting but a player that we are definitely going to not say no to regardless. Kai Havertz could potentially be a Chelsea player in the coming weeks. Manchester United were looking to try and register their interest in the player but Chelsea are looking to sabotage their bid with potentially I think Chelsea trying to pay 70 million pounds for the wonder kid. Um, Leverkusen are trying to hold out for around 100 million pounds which I think translates to around 89 million pounds which could be a little stumbling block in the negotiations but if we're being real Marina Granovsky is going to be in there handling the negotiations she could end up walking out with 50 million and Ross Barkley or some other stupid deal like that but with Marina Granovsky handling the negotiations Chelsea really don't have much to worry about Kai Havertz has two years left on his contract and he's rejected all new contracts offered to him by Leverkusen which could help to swing negotiations in Chelsea's favour. Leverkusen right now will be looking at this summer window like this, like this is going to be the best possible chance for them to gain maximum profit on the player. But even if Leverkusen hold out for the maximum amount of cash then Chelsea could still have the funds to complete the transfer. If we're looking at the transfer ban from last season which basically meant that we didn't spend anything over the last two windows. As well as transfer fees coming back in, we're still waiting for Alvaro Morata's transfer fee to drop down. We're still waiting for Eden Hazard's transfer fee to, well, we're still waiting to use Eden Hazard's transfer fee. So the money from there is still there to be used as well. As well as all the money that we earned from the 2018-19 season of TV deals. Because like I said, we didn't get to use those that money either because of the transfer ban. So Chelsea are really trying to take advantage of the money that they have stored up that they haven't used over the last year. And with the Corona part with the coronavirus pandemic also around which is starting to which is also stopping a lot of clubs from spending as freely as they want to do and even in the case of Spurs and Arsenal in the case where they have to sell players in order to be able to buy players in the future Chelsea are one of a few clubs in Europe right now with, which who still have plenty of money to spend and they're taking full advantage of it right now ha another personal factor that could also bring Havertz Chelsea way is Havertz speaking in the past about his wishes to play alongside Timo Werner one day at club level and with Werner more or less confirmed at Chelsea Kai Havertz could potentially be coming down here as well I mean if he does want to play with Timo Werner at club level Werner will probably be signing a big long-term contract at Chelsea Havertz potentially could be coming in as well as a result now Lampard wants to improve the creativity in our attack all of our transfer business this window has looked at strengthening our attack even at left back we're looking at Ben Chilwell who's a great who's a great left back going forward who's got great attacking instincts going forward Kai Havertz is one of the hottest prospects in world football and he completely adds to that and he instantly improves our creativity alongside Timo Werner if we end up getting both as well it does seem like it'll be a little bit of a stretch to potentially get both but honestly I'm loving the ruthlessness of Chelsea right now I'm not going to tell them to calm down or anything if we end up getting Havertz and Werner never don't write Chelsea off from a title challenge regardless who we sign this season I'm not going to say that we are going to win the league but with the transfer ban Chelsea know that we've had that we have lost a lot of ground on Manchester City and Liverpool and it all says in the table I mean I don't remember how far we finished above Man City and Liverpool last season but it's more or less the same this season hell it might even be even worse because Liverpool have the biggest gap on second place in Premier League history I think or something like that. but we got a lot of ground to catch up on and Chelsea know that and the transfer window is a perfect statement of it Kai Havertz like I said one of the hottest prospects in world football he fits the mould of a player that Lampard is looking for he's versatile which is the same thing that Timo Werner brings to the team same thing that Hakim Ziyech brings into the team as well he can play as a number six he can play as a number eight he can play as a right winger and even play as a false nine if we need him to he's got the technical ability of a traditional playmaker combined with dynamism intelligent movement and an eye for goal his his movement as well is a key factor to why he's so clinical in the final third as well he looks to be the prototype of the number 10 for the future he's always able to find the player further forward due to his good range of passing as long pass, his short passing, his crosses and he's also got the movement to find himself in the right position and he's got the finishing to match to put the ball into the back of the net. 
and like I said the creativity in our attack is something that has needed improvement for so long this season. Even if we aren't looking at our defence that much compared to our attack in the transfer window, we have four solid centre-backs who are all developing and I believe at least two of them are going to grow to be good first team centre-backs in the Premier League. So centre-backs, I wouldn't mind seeing, an, seeing a big centre-back with experience that could teach the other younger centre-backs a thing or two, but centre-backs I don't think is the biggest area that we need to improve left back is probably still going to be an area that we look for with players like Tagliafico or Ben Chilwell potentially coming down to Chelsea as well we are still looking at defensive solutions as well to our team because left back was a huge problem last season we can't forget that but I think with our attack I think with us getting players like Kai Havertz and Timo Werner it fully swings the pendulum in Chelsea's way I th personally think top four isn't going to be a race that we're going to be that deep into next season we're going to be trying pushing for the title a little bit more Frank Lampard's spoken about his three-year plan and it looks like it's all falling into place right now and talk about the pulling power that this guy has for a player with barely any experience in the managerial field players want to play for him the guy's smart the guy we talk about his IQ is 150 plus IQ the guy is intelligent and the guy is able to sell a plan to a lot of these players which is why it's very easy for him to get a lot of players believing in him Personally, I think next season is going to be very exciting for Chelsea. But guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know if you agree or disagree with anything I've said in this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my personal channel as well. We'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care. Up the Chelsea.